Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have for you week four of my five week long meal planning series. My goal with this series is to create five delicious dinners for less than $50. This week I spent $45.58 on groceries. When I got home with my groceries, here is how I started prepping for this week. I started out with just my one onion. I just sliced the onion, put it in a container, and put it in the fridge. Then I grabbed my cucumber, washed it, and used my peeler to just peel part of the outer peel, and then sliced it up, put it in a container, and put it in the fridge. Next, I grabbed my deli meat. I have turkey meat here. And I grabbed about three quarter of the meat and I just diced it up. It will also go in a container and go in the fridge. Then I got out all of my chicken breasts and I sliced them into chicken tenders. And I'm not gonna season them yet, so I just went ahead and put them in the Ziploc bag as they were and put them in the fridge. And I decided to leave all of the lettuce in its package until later in the week so that it would stay fresh. As I was doing all of this, I also boiled six eggs on the stovetop. When they're done boiling, I like to put them in a bowl full of ice water. And once they're completely cool, I put them in the fridge, still in their shell. I only peel them right before I use them. And this is everything I did to prepare for this week. And here is how the dinners turned out. On Monday night, we had ranch chicken with rice, peas, and carrots. Now the ranch chicken is a very simple recipe and I'll leave a link for it below. But all I did was I kept the chicken in the Ziploc that I had it in. I added some mayonnaise and one packet of ranch dressing mix. I mixed it all around and then you just take out each little tender and you bread it in a bowl full of breadcrumbs and you bake them in the oven and it turns out really great. They're very soft and they have a wonderful flavor. I also just made my rice on the stovetop as well as my peas and carrots. Now I do always double my rice because tomorrow will you have rice again. So I'll just cook it once, put half in the fridge and then I'll take that out and use it tomorrow. Also for the peas and carrots, when they're done, I drain them and I just add a little bit of butter, salt, and pepper. And this was dinner for Monday night. On Tuesday, we had beef stir fry with rice and pot stickers. So I started out by just searing my beef fajita meat in a pan. Once both sides are seared, I just put it on a baking sheet and let it finish cooking in the oven at 350 degrees while I cook my vegetables. Now for the veggies, I use that same pan and I just put all of my frozen veggies into that pan and just kind of saute them. Once they're cooked, I add the entire bottle of stir fry sauce, let them simmer for just a few minutes, maybe less than five minutes. And then meanwhile, I pull out my rice from Monday and heat it up. The pot stickers are also pretty easy you just put a little bit of oil in a separate pan and you sear them for one to two minutes on each side. Then pour a little bit of water and put a lid on it for five minutes and they're ready to go. And this was dinner for Tuesday night. On Wednesday night we had a chef salad with turkey instead of ham. So this was really easy to pull together because I had prepped pretty much all the ingredients except for my salad. So I just got out all of my lettuce, washed and chopped it, and then put together all of the parts that we had already prepared on Sunday with the boiled eggs, the cucumbers, and the chopped up turkey meat, which you could also substitute ham. And this was an easy, quick, light dinner that everybody enjoyed on Wednesday night. On Thursday night, we had beef stroganoff with onion gravy, egg noodles, and corn. So I started out with my onion gravy. I just sauteed some of the sliced onions and some butter and oil in a pan. Once they were cooked and clear, I added in a few tablespoons of flour, salt and pepper. Then I grabbed my whisk and slowly whisked in some beef broth. Once I had the consistency that I liked, I just added a little more seasoning 
of some garlic powder, onion powder, dried parsley, and a couple dashes of Worcester sauce. I let this simmer and then add in some of the leftover beef from Tuesday night that I had thinly sliced. I let this simmer on low while I prepare my egg noodles and corn. The egg noodles I just cook as regular when they're done. I strain them and put a little butter, salt, and pepper on them. And the corn, I just add a little pat of butter and a little sprinkle of sugar. And this was dinner for Thursday night. And on Friday was a real easy dinner. We just had frozen pizza with a side salad. Now we just simply made the pizza in the oven. Everyone loves this one and it's only around $5 so it's really great. And we just used all the leftovers from the chef salad we had on Wednesday. And that wrapped up this week full of dinners. As always, I will leave a link to my meal plan below. It has the meals for each day of the week, the grocery list you'll need, as well as all the prep work you could do to prepare on Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!